Boo. Hi, my name's Claire. Clairvoyant. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And a little while ago, I made a video and put an idea out into the ether. And Rockstar appears to be following the, the, the basic tenets of that idea. Now, that may mean that I simply came up with something that was so completely obvious that they came up with it completely independently. I don't know that someone at Rockstar actually saw this particular video and decided to run with it, but here's, here's what I said. I suggested that they make the Oppressor Mark II completely free. And then, if people didn't have a nightclub and a terabyte, they would have to buy shark cards to get those things so they could get the free bike. And how could you not do that? There's a free bike involved, and it's the most important vehicle in the game, was the Oppressor. And, you know, making the oppressor free had some other benefits, like, you know, it would give everybody even ground. There wouldn't be just griefers on oppressors with lots of money. All the new players could get that, and then they would make a lot of money. Well, look at what they've done. Okay? Let's, 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 let's check this out. What they have done is, for people who have the Twitch Prime membership, because they've done this deal, which I'm sure gets them some other money. There's some deal going on there. They have added some severe discounts. Like here, the B-11 Strike Force is normally $3.8 million. It is now 70% off at $950. So if I didn't have a hangar, I would have to buy a hangar. And so therefore, that's a, that's a million and a half dollars. Just about a $20 shark card. So it's just reasonable enough that you could talk yourself into it. It doesn't require a $50 shark card, but you know, a $20 shark card is a thing. So it's pretty close to what I said. If you just here, just make the stuff really inexpensive or free. It was, you know, 950000 compared to 3.8. That, that's a huge deal. I had no plans of getting the B-11 Strike Force for this character. But we are. Oh, we're spending that money. And if we go back... The other thing that's on sale... at Look at this. The Ruiner 2000, normally five million dollars, 5.7 or 4.3. This is on sale for 604. It's 85 percent off. Hadn't planned on getting one of these. I don't even see. Now I don't even have a warehouse. I don't have a place to put that, so I have to spend additional money to get the warehouse. But, I mean, if you're, all right, so I'm going to spend a million and a half for the warehouse for the cheapest one, which would normally be a shark card if I didn't have it, but I do have it. Not that special cargo. Let's, let's go back. Vehicle cargo. And that would be this one. It's the same warehouse that I have on my, my main character. Gotta do it. I mean, you know. Do we want to did you do something funky and make it branded? or do, No, we don't. We're just going to... We could always update that, and if not, well, really, am I even ever going to go there? Confirm. Okay, you've got some space. Now you can move cargo. Click on the green button, Source Vehicle, and we'll search the system for an appropriate car. Soon after that, the details will come through by text. Then it's just up to you to get the car and bring it to the warehouse. Be on the lookout for rival organizations trying to hijack your vehicles. And know that you can intercept organizations moving cars, too. We may as well do that while we're talking. So now I'm doing something that I never would have done before. <laughs> Got a top range, too. So, we going to have a good week, boss? I don't know. I've got a B-11 strike force. I'm going to get sometime this week. It's the office garage. Which office garage had the stuff that I want in it? Where is... I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I don't really use my armored Karuma. Let's let's call up the armored Karuma. I don't think I have it in any of these offices. That's parked somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where my Karuma is. Let's see if I survive this. Let me know. There it is. It's in, it's in the actually still in the penthouse. All right. So I already dialed that in. I don't know why people are screaming.
So here I am, they have motivated me to do something other than what I had planned to do. It's working. But if I do the bunker mission, then I can get this, I can get, you know, basically a Ruiner 2000 for 2.1 million dollars? 2.1, 2.2 million dollars? That's, that's half price even if you consider having to buy the darn, you know, garage. I mean, this is, this is, you know, pretty much what I said. You're going to make people spend money that they hadn't planned on spending. I was never going to get this garage for this character. Why would I? I've got it on the other one. My other character has more stuff available to him to do these missions. Well, you know, I haven't, I haven't equipped Rusty Jack, the whole purpose of Rusty Jack. Oh, I missed it. I am here already. It was just to do your racer. But, you know, I, for a, a half price Ruiner 2000, what are we going to do? What are we getting the Tyrus? So it's, it's blocked in a little bit. That's the deal. Okay, so we'll park this over here. Okay, so the alarm is gone on that. We can move this out of the way. Otherwise we have to ding up the thing. Don't care about that one. That's more of an insult to injury kind of thing. So you think this is a bomb car? Yep, there we go. And it's an awkward parking position. On some tight streets. I gotta keep the speed up where you're not likely to keep the speed up. And I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction here. I'm hoping. So the first car gets is a bomb car. Now the bomb car is not a bad deal if you could just keep it... You don't have to keep it up at maximum speed. You have to keep it. You have some time to get it up to speed if you have to go around a sharp corner. You almost don't want to go real fast so that, you know, you're not too far out. And the Tyrus. Yeah, it's a pretty good handling car. So, I mean, it can take the turns pretty quickly. I have to just do this for a minute. So they've done pretty much what I said. Set the paywall as normally priced. Then put radical discounts or make it free for vehicles that people might not otherwise buy. Or in the case of the Oppressor, that was going to be game changing. And they may do this. They may do this with the Oppressor at some point. And if this is the new the new pattern, I, yeah, I'm going to try and, try and keep up with this as much as possible. Yeah, I'll probably hold off getting any other stuff for my for this character until we see what the the Twitch Prime bonuses are. I mean I have Twitch Prime primarily because I have Amazon Prime just to watch the Grand Tour. And you guys know I have an entire garage dedicated to the Grand Tour and Top Gear and stuff like that. Love that show. It's a whole thing. So you know as a byproduct of that, hey I'm gonna get all these bonuses. So they've really got some you know some amazing marketing going on here. And we're through. Alright. Now we can just drive. But the neat part about it is, is I, I kind of suggested this. Now I don't know that, you know, they've watched my video and said, hey, you know, we can make the, you know, we can make the cars or the vehicles cheap and we can do it with the Impressor. We can do it with stuff like the Strike Force and the the Ruiner. Ruiner is one of the most expensive things in the game. How can you not go for this deal? It's a thing. So we'll see what we'll, we'll see what goes on with this. This is it looks like this is going to be a new pattern. And I'll be honest with you, this makes me want to get back into grinding money. I mean, you, 
All right, so you probably need a million or two a week just to keep up with, you know, getting all the stuffs. I mean, there will come a point where I'll have all the stuff that, you know, the stuff that's going to be on sale is going to be stuff that I have even on this character. And of course, I obviously already have a, uh, I mean, it's not obvious, but I do have a, if you've watched the videos, you know I have a Ruder 2000, the Ookmobile. Wait a minute, this is, I hate it when the, uh, the GPS glitches like that and sends you one way and then another way and then this way and that way. I imagine in LA it would actually probably just do that and make it crazy. But having never driven in LA. I imagine with the traffic you probably have some time to ponder which way to go, but I'm, again, I've never driven in LA, so I don't know. I only have its reputation. So, I don't know, I think it's probably highly unlikely that Rockstar has me on their radar. But it is, you know, it's probably just, hey, it's an obvious idea. What do you think this is a grand idea on Black Knight? It's like some big secret. But I did call it ahead of time. And now they're doing it as part of this update. So, there's that. And on that note, this is your Black Knight in a black car. I guess I should at least let you see if I get this back, right? We're almost there. And there's a, there's a helicopter over... Like somebody's just landed. You know? Well, yeah. Alright, so there is some... There is some intrigue here. Can we bring home the terrorist in here? And... Wee! Zero repair costs! We got a perfect run. Do you want to see what happens when I sell it? Should we try to sell it? We need money. Oh, okay. it's the boss. Okay. Oh. Here's our new vehicle warehouse. Let me show you around. I forgot about this. We can store all our vehicle cargo here before selling it. We can fit 40 cars in here. We got a vending machine and some personal space back there for getting some shut-eye and changing your clothes. When you bring a car back, it'll get fixed up and listed on Ad Hoc's Autos. When you access the website from the laptop on the desk, You'll see your current stock of cars and be able to select how many you want to offload and to who. The amount you can sell at any one time is dependent on how many associates you got on hand. If we want to chase the bigger commissions, we're going to need to modify the cars to the bigger buyer specifications. Remove trackers, change paint jobs, rims, apply other mods. Different buyers got different requirements. The mechanic's on site to handle all that. It's an independent operator, so it costs to repair stolen cars that come in damage, and to do the mods. But believe me, it makes life easy. And you see the door over there? That'll take you all the way down to the underground facility. You renovate it down there, so there's somewhere to store any of those big, unwieldy, modified vehicles off the Warstock site. Only place to accommodate anything from a huge Phantom Wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. And that's it. We should get to work. The more vehicle cargo we move, the more of an interest Securo serves going to take in the company. We steal enough cars, they'll throw us some special vehicle work. Come by the office when you want to source that next car. See you, boss. Oh, that's right. You can't just do the special vehicle work. You have to sell tons of cars. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm up for grind. See, this is where they really get you. I'm not sure I'm up for grinding until I get that... Uh... That ruiner. I don't have the time for that. How many cars can I grind? That's a thing. So I'm probably just going to get the 800000 It's only $200,000. That's one run. Don't say anything. Okay, I won't. That's an interesting side note. Is this one of the... Let's see, is this a collector? Life goes simple if this is a collector. Okay, boss. You want to sell something? You're in the right place. We log everything that comes in on the site, so you can see what we got in the warehouse. Select a vehicle, and it goes up on the export list at the top of the page. You can sell up to four vehicles at a time if you've got the drivers here in the warehouse. When the cars you want to sell are selected, confirm, and the system will search available buyers. There you go, we got three buyers. Pick who you like, but you should know that the bigger deals got strings attached. They're going to want you to do modifications up front. 
If you damage the car or lose it on the way to the sale, the money's gone. I'll do the modifications in-house, charge you a flat fee. It makes life simple for you and hard for me, but what else would you expect, right boss? Make a call and we'll get on with it. I don't even remember that. Of course it's been so long. Okay, let's get this ready. Buyer wants certain elements changed. Doesn't mind so much what they're changed to, and I've already coded you a price. Select the mods they want stage by stage, and then hit complete when it's good. Work will be done on the spot. Sometimes you'll have to wait on other drivers being choosy, but you won't wait long. You know who makes good license plates? Prison inmates. We got to change up the paint job. Matt Gray. This is a, an active session. We're gonna try and go stealthy. Wouldn't recognize it. Performance mods are on the list. Install. They don't like the bodywork. Lights. Do we have neon kits on this? No, we don't want neon kits on this. Wheels have got to go. Absolutely. Stock rims. Let's go Raiders. Although I'm a Steelers fan, but let's go Raiders. <laughs> and then your color. Go dark. Stealth. Now let's see if we can deliver this puppy. I guess this is kind of the bonus material. The whole idea of that, you know. You good to go? Get over to the buyer without sustaining damage, and we'll get the full amount. Yes, the plate should have been black, but, you know. I probably will sustain some damage to popular time, because it's in the daytime. But, there's a good chance they won't spawn any NPCs against me, because I'm in kind of a full session. It seems to luck. Why is there an airplane there? Oh no. No, 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 we've got modders. There's always a modder. Well, you gotta hustle this up before the modder realizes that we're here. Or cares about us. I was gonna be sporting one of those bombers up my nose. Unless that was just somebody landed a bomber. That's a possibility. Someone just flew a bomber and landed there. You know, you see those things, you know, so infrequently. That you just assume someone spawned one in. I mean, hardly anyone ever buys one. I don't have the stats to back that up. It doesn't seem like something I'd ever get. I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool as anything, but... Very slow. Not very well defended. It's something if you want to just fly around a little bit and it looks cool for millions upon millions of dollars. Now, if they made it super cheap. Oh, there's a ding. See? We're almost there. It was almost the perfect run. Wait a minute. We're almost back to our car. This guy is. This is being bought by the guy's neighbor. Oh, there's another ding. I don't know if that counted. still explode right here. Okay, so how much did we lose? Like, what, $20? $62. I can live with $62. Pretty much, it was a good run. Not a perfect run to start out. So, you're the rich person who wanted stolen cars. How, so how does that work? Not real talkative, are you? Those are some pretty wild glasses. Got the whole Joan Rivers thing going or something, or something like that. I don't even know. Did Joni did Joni wear big glasses? I don't remember. Well done out there. The money's in the bank. I could almost walk to the other car. 
but there you have it, folks. Let's 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 do the time warp again here. We'll see how many cars I'd have to sell to get that mission. Mile High Club. What's that? Interesting. Doop dee 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 dee. Land that buzzard. All right. Let's see what we need to do. Let's find out. All right. Yeah. Any day now. Walk off the elevator. How There's many? How many missions? I'm imagining she uses the uh, the luxury chopper to chop her in, chop her out. So it makes sense that she's back. Doesn't tell you. <sighs> so in my mind, I mean, it could be fire. I mean, I think I don't think the the ruiner is the first one. Is it possible? Is it possible just to do five cars and then that would be enough to to unlock? I mean, if we're looking at a quarter million, a quarter million is not not insignificant. And I guess it's really just one run from the the bunker. If I look at it that way. Am I going to have the time to do this this weekend? I got other things I want to do. It'd be nice if I knew. If it was just four more cars. Four more cars could be looking out. What the heck? Something just blew up. That's the trick. It's going to be four or five successful sources to be able to do that. I think we're just going to go take my money. I may regret it later. $861,000. See, I just don't know how many. Purchase pending. There you go. Alright, you want to hang around while I customize it? And while I'm waiting for my vehicle to be delivered, there's an oppressor just around someplace. Will it? Will this end up being more interesting than I intended? It's. Come on. Still waiting for it to be delivered. Come on. How long does it take to deliver basically Night Rider to my garage? This guy's gotta be like sitting on the on the roof or something like that. Or just around the corner. Waiting for the moment when the ruiner gets delivered, but there might be something. There we go. And can we get away? Don't forget, it's not like it's, you know, the, um, it's not the VIP work version of it. It has, you know, infinite missile survivability. This one's a regular ruiner. That does look perfectly Night Rider, doesn't it? Maybe we should leave it black. Maybe we should leave it truly Night Rider ish. I hadn't really planned on that. I planned on tricking this one out. Well, he skipped the oppressor guy, so he had his own agenda, I guess. What the heck? Here for the magic touch. Where did that come from? I didn't. I didn't even see anybody. You know, repair a vehicle. Wow! Thanks. Dude, cost me some serious. the 
He likes to throw his horn and went dun 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 Respray, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of a thing. The original was shiny, though. Metallic, I mean, if I was going to go metallic orange, this is what I normally do. Boy, it's just not, there's something, there's something so 80s about me that is just, you know, that's not calling to me. I was gonna put like wild wheels, wild this, make it look really funky. I'm just, yeah, maybe later. Suspension. We're gonna leave the suspension up for clearance. Race transmission. You need the turbo boost. We can do all that, but we need tires. Tire enhancements and bulletproof. And this keeps the cost down too. Windows, we could tint them out. Okay, who's there ramming into me? Hey there. Hey there. Where was that guy? I think he's on the top of the building. Up there, he's up there somewhere. We could theoretically surprise him. I could do a jump on him top of the building, but you hear that? Where is he? He's up there. Ready? I did it too early. That didn't work out well. Not a, not a not a pristine application of the turbo boost. You didn't see that. That didn't happen. All right, let's just get a little bit more. And these people will block my jump. And you can't jump if you're not on the ground. I think he goes in there. Okay, where is he in? This is where he is. Did he get himself into the, the shop while I was in there? Did he glitch himself in? Was that the whole point? But we're gonna fly away here, and I, really, I completely plan on going like wild orange and wild wheels, and but there's just something about the darn Night Rider car that I just like. Of course, I do call myself the Black Knight, so I guess that's kind of a thing, right? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. I mean, I, I pretty much think I called it, I, I predicted a, a marketing path for Rockstar. Whether or not they actually took my idea or not is really immaterial, I guess. Well, it's not immaterial, but it's... We'll never know. We're never going to know if that happened. But I did say this was going to happen. Maybe it's something they've been doing and I've just suddenly picked up on it. I don't know. But this is this is the new deal. And they've, they've already got me for a couple million, so... It works. <laughs> On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. What the heck is going on here? He's dropping cars off in the middle of the street? I mean... Are these up for grabs? Who did try the Yosemite? <laughs> the Yosemite ones. Let's drive a spawned car for a little while. 
I don't think it's modified. It's in that one. That'd be funny if we could park this. That'd be We've stolen a Yosemite. I know it's the Yosemite, but you know, there was a bunch of YouTubers calling it the Yosemite. And it's like, you don't know that Yosemite in National Park? Really? It's Whee! It handles better than I thought it could be. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to try and get myself one of these and see if I can pin jump it all over there. Ooh, it must be just a friendly moderate dropping in stuff or something, because you can't have all of your. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> Can we park it? Nope. It's just a spawn Yosemite. They're nice. I like it. Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight, and as you can see, I'm here in my apartment, about to take a walk over to the office. Don't have the, don't have the, uh, the personal quarters in this office for Rusty Jack. And the thought was, well, hey, why do that when you're right next door? But there's a reason I'm here, as opposed to just living at the casino, heading for another spin of the wheel. And that is that I have something to talk about. I have actually possibly called something. There's actually something that I have said that Rockstar could do in a video that I believe they have done. Hey, Origin 33. Hey, you. We're just going to walk away and see if Origin 33 just lets us kind of walk away. Whee! enter my office. Now, in a video a little while ago, this is before the casino update, I had offered a method by which Rockstar could make money by offering stuff for free. What I specifically said... Someone's buzzing. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's buzz him in. That's fine. Let's, let's, let's just make this weird. What I had said <laughs> There he is. Hello. I'm just uh, I'm just making a video here. That's just <laughs> All right, well, this is adding an interesting element to the whole thing here I hadn't planned. We might have to do a take two on this. This may be, needs to be bonus footage at the end of the... The things you try to, to happen when you're... Did he leave? What's cooking? Where'd he go? Let me know. Hi there. What's it going? <sighs> All right, I I don't know what any of that was. Let's let's do this over again. Take two or three or whatever this is. Four. <laughs> 